Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Okay, today what we're going to do is replace a hard drive in an Xbox One. This is an original Xbox One, not even an Xbox One S. This is the one with the huge um, power block. And what I have here is a hard drive out of another Xbox One, meaning that the software is pre-formatted where I, there's usually a big step that you have to, a lot of big steps that you have to go through and get a hard drive prepared in order for the Xbox to recognize it. It's definitely not as easy as a PlayStation 4. So what I've done is I took a, another Xbox One that is long dead, like a launch day one system, and I've tucked the hard drive out and it's already partitioned and everything and I'm going to put it in this Xbox now the very first thing you have to do um, the sides of this comes off right here it kind of pries I don't know if you can see this or not but this is how it first starts to come off you take the side off and just pops right out and yes this thing looks like a huge like beta from years ago okay now what you want to do there's this tab right here that fits in between here and it holds the case together you want to put a little screwdriver in there and just pull backwards and that gets this piece out of there and that holds the case together. Now, the next part is not so nice. Th this part voids the warranty right here on this sticker. And I don't really like doing that. I mean, it's not like there's a warranty anyway. but it lets you know if someone has been inside the case or not. I'm trying to gingerly remove that and put it over there and hoping that no one will know. Now, the next part is really hard because what you have to do right there Xbox Let's see if I can get a spudger you have to be careful and what you do is it just kind of pops up like so all the way on the back of it just like that now once the back is popped up you kind of want to move it forward and be careful the reason why you don't want to pull it all the way off yet is because in the front the button is hooked up underneath here right here we kind of want to take a flathead screwdriver, pull it forward a little bit so that this button will come out.
pulls out and then up. And once it pulls up, it releases, and then you are, voila, you are inside of the Xbox One. Wow, it does not look too bad in here to be an older system. Let's see, I believe you need a Torx 8. And that's what I have. This right here, let me see if I can get a close up of it. This right here is the dual band 2.4 gigahertz and uh, the, the 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi card. Uh, you're going to want to take, disconnect the wire, the wires at least. And the other one disconnects on the front right here. And there's going to be eight bolts. Well, you have to take the wireless off first, the wireless card, which I'm taking that off. And take your time. Don't get too excited or scared. It's just an Xbox. Now this, you pull up kind of evenly because it's actually attached down there with a little kind of plug in if you see that right there. See how it kind of plugs into the top of that? I don't know if you can see right there where it plugs in or not. Now we have eight, um, eight of these screws. Um, like this right here, these are Torx eight. And there's eight of them there before the top can come off. All right. Okay, I just unplugged the little front speaker. And put those screws right there as they come out. Three down. Four. Five. Six. Seven, working on the seventh one. And then now I'm working on number eight. And now you should be able to just grab this lid from the back. And underneath of it, you have to be careful because right here, if you can see, there's a wire that connects to the Wi-Fi module on the lid anyways that just pulls up and out of the way wow it is it is clean in here very clean i would not have thought it would be this clean manufactured november the 13th or november 2013 see if i can get you guys a look down in there a little better. This is the, the cooling fan. This is the hard drive on its caddy. This is the Blu-ray drive. And of course underneath is the motherboard. Kind of seeing, trying to see when this hard drive was made. It can just come right on plugged here. 
and it just comes out. There's nothing really holding it in. Let's compare the two. The one on the right came out of the old machine. 12. Division A. Wow, they look identical. <laughs> they were even made in the same year. Uh, going to go ahead and switch them. Because uh, I do believe that is what the problem is with this machine. There we go. This one was bent, kind of, somehow. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. It feels bent. <clears throat> but this looks very clean in here, guys. I mean, this looks very, very clean. But what I'm gonna do, even though this is clean, I have an air compressor and with the end of it I'm going to do that right there Then, I'm going to put this back together, see how it does, because this does not look bad at all. Hard drive has been replaced. Let me plug in the Wi-Fi module right there. See, that's what I'm doing right here, plugging in the Wi-Fi. Then I'm going to put the uh, shield back on. And that will be these eight screws right here. They're kind of labeled like C. Two through eight. So that's what I'm going to do. These are going back on now. C7, one thing I didn't like about these cases is that uh, the gloss on the top of them, they started making them without gloss, but they get scratched up really badly. Uh, well, easily. You just have to be really careful. I'm pretty careful with electronics. So, yeah, mine don't really get damaged. I have two left. And these are things, I actually like doing this. Um, not just this, but with computers too. Any, any type of electronics, this is really fun for me. I'm just 
just going over these ones to make sure that they're, you know, kind of flush, tight, that none of them's loose now. I want to make sure this oldie but goodie because these came out in 2013 now. So these things are at least five and a half years old. It's hard to believe that. That's my dog in the background. I think she wants to go outside and it's like 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, not really want to take her out, but I will hear it right after this. Okay, so I'm snapping back on. You can see that I'm snapping on the, uh, the Wi-Fi pigtail. There it's snapped on. And then you have to snap it on in the front right here and then the speaker I'm gonna hook up right there putting on the pigtail and it can only go one way where the grooves are in the front see it just snaps right down in there now the smaller screws go right here in the top where this, uh, if you can see where the Wi-Fi card goes, it just sets right there on the top of the Xbox. Okay, now I'm gonna put Xbox back on there you can see like where some of those scratches are So this is a little bit more difficult right here. I think this is the most difficult part of the whole procedure is Once this goes down in here There's a lip right behind it. It has to go in. It's really hard to get. I should be using a pair of pliers. You know, that or not pliers. Uh, I should be using a pair of tweezers. It'd be much, much easier. See if that got it. I'm going to test it. 